Hey guys, Steve here at Prairie Aquaponics. It's been about a week since my last update, so I thought I'd uh, run you through it all real quick. This is that uh, bed I planted from seed. As you can see, the lettuce is crazy. We've been eating it as fast as we can. There's two families eat out of this. and <laughs> It grows quicker than we can eat it. Here I got some spinach or Swiss chard. I'm really not sure. Once again, spinach or Swiss chard. And I got a pea here that uh, I threw in there a while back. Here's a bean plant. Here's another bean plant. Looking nice. Here's a tomato I did from a cutting. Looking nice, another pea plant. And then those, there's two or three little kale I stole out of the garden. Not gonna lie, it's so bright I can't see the screen, so if I'm getting some pretty crappy shots, I apologize. But yeah. And then over here we have the, what I'm going to call the zucchini mess. So the zucchini absolutely love the aquaponics. I wasn't getting any zucchini, wasn't getting any zucchini. And now I have more than I know what to do with. You see on this plant there's one, two, three, four, five I think that I can see. You might have to do some trimming here and cut it back a bit. Well, there's tomatoes in here, but I don't see anything growing on those. Here's another tomato. And, uh, hope you guys can see that. But that's that zucchini I updated you on last week. I'm actually going to pick this guy today. Because she's looking pretty darn healthy, so... Pick that one. There was a littler guy in there, too. Oh, yeah, there it is. And I planted some cabbage back here and stuff, but, uh... I'm going to have to get rid of all this lettuce. I just threw some lettuce seed in as a mop to help clean up the clean up the fish waste. And like, here's another tomato and it just, it's like bending over and there's like four flowers on it, no fruit. Uh, I wasn't out here for about a week because I live in the city and this is out of town and uh, my kids have been sick and whatnot. So, uh, the boss didn't, or the buddy, my buddy who takes care of it here, he also happens to be my boss, and really doesn't know so much about it, and the tank got real low. So I just filled it up. As you can see, that water is murky because, um, well, basically because there's no water running into it. All of this went probably three, four days without uh, being flooded or drained. The water level, luckily, in both the beds was all the way up, so... The plants had uh, something to drink. All right, guys, I'll uh, hit the greenhouse and probably hit the garden today, and I'll uh, get back to you. Hey, guys, just a quick uh, greenhouse update. Notice I say that every time I start a video. Hey, guys. <laughs> but uh, there's the one zucchini. It's getting pretty big. Um, I noticed I had the greenhouse door closed, and uh, no bees were pollinating anything. And I haven't been here for about a week and a half, so I um, have a lot of the fruit didn't get pollinated and just fell off. Looks like uh, it dried out in here too. So I'll be keeping this door open from now on and uh, letting the bugs come in and out. Here's another zucchini. That's the first one that ever came. And here's what I'm talking about about the fruit. I don't know if that's from not being pollinated or if that's from not being watered. There's my uh, asparagus that I still haven't got in the ground and probably won't this year, so it's a lost cause, I'm thinking. Here's my tomatoes. Lots of blossoms on all of them. They're getting nice, thick stems, nice, healthy. And uh, I think I'm going to take a cutting off of this one. It seems to be the thickest stem, the most blossoms, the healthiest. So come the end of the year, what I'll do is I'll take a cutting off of this guy and any other tomatoes that seem to be, uh, you know, good and tasty. And I'll, uh, I'll make those my mother plants. And next year I will just, instead of planting from seed, I will, uh, I'll just take clippings. I notice that's what, uh, I think his name's Brock Henges. The man who always has to keep hydrated with a beer. 
uh, that's what he does, so, and he's got tomatoes in no time, but he's also from British Columbia, and I'm from Saskatchewan, so, alright guys, I'll hit the garden, and I'll probably come back also with a water test. Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick uh, update here. As you can see, the weeds have taken over my garden again. <laughs> didn't take any time at all. Um, here I got some peas, which I'm going to start training up this fence here. So I thought they'd do it on their own, but they seem to be growing away from the fence. So, I guess I'll do it for them. Here's some beets. Looking very nice. Something's been here eating them, or the dog's been laying on them, hard to say. In the back row there, I got some corn coming up. There's a bit, but nothing to call home about. Next year, I'll plant the corn a lot thicker, I think. Once again, got some big pea plants here. Big peas, big peas, lots of beets. It's the row of peas and beets. And as I said, look at them. I thought they'd grow up the fence automatically, but... Seem to grow the opposite direction. Sorry about the shaky camera work here, guys. It's real mucky, so. All right, so, I don't know if the boss has been out here, but it looks like the lettuce all got burnt. Or maybe they're eating it. I don't know, somebody's eating it. There's a pepper plant that made it through the frost and everything. Over here I got a, I think that's Getty squash and uh, kale. Kale, kale, kale. Here's another pepper. Leaves are all curled up, which means uh, no one's been watering the garden. You can soak it the day before I come out, but I'll still know if you've been watering it or not. You know what I mean? Uh, there's another pepper. Um, I think that's a weed. I'll tell you the honest truth. Here's a nice little roll of kale. And all spaghetti squash in the back. I'm so excited. I love spaghetti squash. There's another pepper. And uh, more spaghetti squash. Squash goes all the way up with a roll of kale in front of it. See what else we got here on this side. Pretty sure they've been eating it. There's no way that uh, the rabbits have been doing that. There's a pepper. Not doing worth a crap. There's another pepper, not doing worth a crap. I don't know why peppers do not grow worth a shit in my soil. I'll jump this row here. All right, there's a pepper in there, surrounded by weeds. Um, see if I can get to the other side here without getting stuck in the mud. <laughs> no, I'll video from this side. There's a pepper in there, surrounded by weeds. Uh, let's see here. Should be a tomato in there. Surrounded by weeds also. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. I'll go all the way around so I can get to the other side. There's a tomato, there's flowers on that one. Yeah, she's looking good. Tomato, there's a tomato in there. Once again, it looks like the weeds are trying to... Like, why do they have to grow right next to my tomatoes? There's all this dirt that I would not care if they grew. Look, look. Look at all that. Not a weed. I haven't touched that. Oh, where my plants are? Full of weeds, of course. Um, let's see here. There's supposed to be broccoli here. Obviously all dead. Oh, no, there's one broccoli. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gone for a week and it all goes to hell in a handbasket, eh? There's a dead cabbage. There's some good cabbage. It's starting to head up. There's some kale, some more kale, even more kale. What is that? That must be a bok choy, I would say. That somehow made it into the garden. I didn't have anything to do with this last row here, guys, so I'm not too sure what's going on, but they threw her in, so whatever, let her grow. Put a seed in the ground, watch it grow. And uh, there's another pepper. Once again, not doing with a crap. And I think next year I will grow my peppers all inside the greenhouse. All right, guys, I'm going to do a water test. I'm going to string up my uh, peas over there, and then I'll get back to you guys. Talk to you later. 
Hey, I did a water check here, so I think I'll just uh, quickly run you through it. Nitrates, zero. Nitrates, zero. Ammonia, oh, 0 0.25. And as always, my water here is super hard. It's super hot, so everything's evaporating. Keep refilling with water at a it's right around a uh, 8.6 out of my well. So by the time it you know sits in my tank for a week, it drops down to the appropriate. Here's a couple of zucchini. There's a, I think that one's supposed to be a black bush zucchini, and that's supposed to be a baby zucchini. But uh, you know, as you can see, these are not little at all. And then I also harvested uh, my bag of greens here. You can see is a full shopping bag and I didn't even really make a dent. So I got a couple families I'm going to bring some organic vegetables to and uh, hopefully they enjoy them. Alright guys, till next week, Steve here from Prairie Aquaponics. Keep on